Cognitive Assessment Number Two from Maasal Book, page number six. Look at with me about picture number one. Shows the correct answer. Letter E, three over seven of seven or three. It's the meaning product between two fractions here. We can find the product between three over seven and seven over three. We know the inverse about three over seven. This is because about it, it will be seven over three. Then the product between them equal one. Then the result about which and letter E here, one. Then the result about letter E, product between three over seven and seven over three. The product between them, one. Which and letter D, we must combine between two over three divided by third and one over two. We have here two over three and convert from division to multiplication, right? The inverse about one over three, it will be three over one. Three divided by three equal one, three divided by three equal one, one times two equal two, two divided by one equal two, then two greater than by half. Next example, question letter C. From the opposite model, the two divided by half equal what? We have two models here. One. One and each one divided to parts equality half and half, half and half. How many pairs? Two divided by halves to be one, two, three, four. We have one, two, three, four. Then in this example, two divided by half, the result will be four. About which shall letter C. We can count how many halves into how many halves into it will be four halves into. Or you can write two product by reciprocal about it. one over two, it will be two. And the product between two times two equal four. You can solve by this method or this method. From this model, count how many halves in, uh, in two, one, two, three, four. Okay, next example. What shall letter D, the number, the number of four nines in eight equal what? We can write eight divided by four over nine. Write eight and convert from division to multiplication. Write the inverse about four over nine will be nine over four. Eight divided by four equal two, and two times nine equal eighteen. Okay, it was question letter D. Letter E, half of four over seven, C meaning four over seven divided by half. Half of, C meaning uh, half product by numbers. Again, half of four over seven, C meaning half product by four over seven. You can write four divided by two equal two, and two divided by two equal one. One times two equal two, and one seven will be one times seven equal seven. Then the result will be one a two over seven. Here choose two over seven, where it will be fourteen over eleven. You can write here four over uh, fourteen. One times four equal four. Two times seven equal fourteen. You can write four over fourteen. Here, choose letter C. But if you want to sample this fraction, you must divide it by two numerator and denominator. It will be two over seven. So the result of letter E, you must choose letter C. Question letter F, we won't find the dividend. Here, question letter F, he give us a space divided by three over eight equal five over six. To solve this example, you must Find the product between divisor and the quotient. We know the dividend equal divisor product by the quotient. Here the space refers to what? Refers to the dividend. To find the dividend here, put x refers to this number. Write the product between two numbers. You can write 5 over 6 product by 3 over 8. Then the value of x equal, you can sample this example. 3 divided by 3 equal 1, 6 divided by 3 equal 2, and then 1 times 5 equal 5, and 2 times 8 equal 16. Then the result here will be 5 over 16. Choose here, in this example, 5 over 16, 3 over 8, and divided by 5 over 6. was letter E. Okay, question here. Letter F, choose letter E. I understood, five over 16. Complete, number two, complete the following, letter E. Five over six divided by what? 
equal five, we won't find here is a divisor. To find the divisor, you must find the quotient of divisor. Here we have divisor space. We want to find the divisor. You must find the quotient of the dividend and the quotient. Okay, we put here x. x here reverse to what? Reverse to the divisor. We won't find here the divisor. We won't find the divisor. Then you can write five or six divided by five. Okay, again, to find the divisor, you must find the quotient of dividend. Dividend divided by quotient because we have here dividend and we have here divisor and here is a quotient. The product between quotient and divisor give me the dividend and then you can replace them. Dividend divided by divisor equal quotient or dividend divided by the quotient equal divisor. Okay? Then to find the divisor, you must divide it a dividend by the quotient, such that we know 60 divided by 6 equal 10. To find here the divisor, 6 equal 60 divided by 10. Then the divisor equals the dividend divided by the quotient. This place refers to what? Refers to divisor, such that 60 divided by 6 equal 10. Okay? To find Divisor, you must find the quotient of dividend and the quotient. So in this example, to find the value of x, you must divide it, the dividend by the quotient. Then the value of x in this example, write here, 5 over 6, write the dividend here, divided by the quotient by the 5. In the value of x equal, Write here 5 over 6 and convert from division to multiplication. Write the reciprocal about 5, it will be 1 over 5. 5 by 5, 1. 5 divided by 5, 1. 1 times 1 equals 1. 1 times 6 equals 6. Then the result here will be 1 over 6. Okay. Next example, question letter P. We have here a 2 over 3 of 12, meaning product between them. Okay, 12 divided by 3 equal 4, 3 divided by 3 equal 1, 2 times 4 equal 8. Question letter C, space product by half equal 1, then you can write here 2, 2 times half equal 1. Question letter D, 3 over 5, product by space equal 6 over 10, 3 times 2 equal 6, 5 times 2 equal 10, then C meaning product by 2 over 2, or you can write product by 1. Then 3 over 5 product by 1 will be 6 over 10, because you are equivalent. Then the result here 1, write 1 in the space. Question uh, letter E. No, I use this 4 nines cup of milk to make 2 mugs of coffee. She uses space to make 1 cup. We can divide it. The amount here by two mugs, four ninths cup of milk, two mug of coffee, divided to find the amount in each mug, divide the total amount. The total amount here was four over nine cup. Okay, we have here four over nine cup of milk. We want to distribute it into mug of cup. Then you can distribute it as the amount here, 4 over 9, by the number of mug here, 2, and write 4 over 9. Convert from division to multiplication. Write the inverse about 2, it will be 1 over 2. 2 divided by 2, 1. 4 divided by 2 equal 2. 1 times 2 equal 2. 1 times 9 equal 9. Then the result will be 2 over 9 here, 2 over 9 cup of milk. Okay, write 2 over 9. Question number 3. A box of a table tennis balls weigh 10 over 10 of a kilogram. If each ball weighs 5 or 27 of a kilogram, then how many balls are there in the box? 
Okay, we have the amount here, the total amount, the total weight here, 10 over 18 kilogram, each ball with 5 or 7 kilogram. How many balls are there in the box? Okay, he give us the total of the weight here, 10 over 18, 10 over 18 of a kilogram in this table tennis. Uh, if each ball weight, each ball, weight 5 over 27 of a kilogram. He give us the weight of each one. Okay, I want to know how many balls are there here. He give us the weight of each one was 5 over 27. Then we can find the number of balls here by dividing the total amount of this table, 10 over 18, by the, the weight of each one. The weight of each one here was 5 over 27. Okay, then you can write the number equal 10 over 18, right? This will be called about 5 over 27, it will be 27 over 5. 10 divided by 5 equal 2, and 5 divided by 5 equal 1. And then 18 divided by 9 equal 3, and 27 divided by 9, 18 divided by 9 equal 2, and 27 divided by 9 equal 3. 2 divided by 2 equal 1, 2 divided by 2 equal 1. Then the result will be 3. We have three balls. Okay, understood this method? You can sample it first, or you can you can sample this example first by divided by two here. Ten divided by two equal five. Eighteen divided by two equal nine. And right here, inverse about this number, it will be twenty-seven over five. Cancels five by five equal one. And nine divided by nine one. Twenty-seven divided by nine equal three. Then the result here will be three balls. You can solve this example by this uh, simplest method or this method, okay, anything. But you must know the method about solve the example. To find the number of balls, you must divide the weight of the table divided by the number of, uh, or the weight of each ball here. To find the number, to find the number of each ball here, you must divide the weight of the tables by what, by the weight of each ball here. Okay, the number of balls will be three. Coach and letter B here. Use this model to divide the three over five divided by one over four. Okay. Use the model to divide it here, coach number one, three over five divided by one over four. First step to solve this example, you must write the least common multiplication between the denominator here, it will be 20. Okay, 20. And 4 times 5 equal 20, 3 times 4 equal 12, and 4 times 5 equal 20, 1 times 5 equal 5. Then we will draw this model here, and part here, write 20, 20 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And then you must color twelve parts from twenty parts. Color twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We color the hair twelve parts from twenty. And then we can draw such as that this model here. Like this model and divided it 20 parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, here 20. Okay. And we will color the five parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Color five parts from 20. Okay, then the result here would be the number of parts colored in the dividend by the number of the colored in the divisor. Number of parts here was 12. Then you can write 12. Write the result, 12 here over five. And then you can sample it, convert from a robot to mixed number, write five, and two times five equal 10, and the remainder two. And the result will be two and two over five. Okay, it was question number one.
Question number two. We have six divided by two over three. You must draw six models. One, two, three, four, five, six models. And divided each one of them to three parties. Divided each of them to three parties. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. And then count each we have here. Third, we want find here. Third and third and third and third and so on. Count each two contains to one. We have one, the first group here, one, okay? Second group here, number two. We have two, two third, three, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Count each two third, how many two third is in six? I will count. One third over one third, the plus one over third will be two thirds. Then we have one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then the result here will be nine. Or you can explain the method, write six and convert from division to multiplication, raise the inverse about two over three to be three over two. Six divided by two equal three and three times three equal nine. It's exactly the result. Okay, understood?